A flammable can be simply described as a substance that will readily catch fire and burn. Xylene is a commonly used flammable substance. There can be two identical amounts sitting side by side in identical dishes, yet one will ignite, the other one won't. The reason the xylene that didn't ignite was cooled by dry ice, the other was heated to just over 81 degrees, the flashpoint of xylene. Flashpoint is the lowest temperature at which a substance gives off vapor that will burn. One of the first things you need to remember when you're dealing with flammables and explosives is that it's the vapor that a substance gives off that burns, not the substance itself. Flammables and explosives are two classes of materials that can always be dangerous. While flammables can ignite and burn, explosives are subject to very rapid chemical reaction or decomposition and can release gas and heat with potentially violent results. Flammables and explosives are both materials that you want to be very careful with. Let's look at another highly flammable material, gasoline. Its vapors ignite easily at temperatures as low as negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet even when it's at its flash point and a spark is created, gasoline may not catch fire. Whether it does will depend on the gasoline's fuel-air mixture and limits of flammability. Materials have both lower and upper limits of flammability. A substance's lower flammable limit is the minimum percentage of vapor to air that's required for ignition to take place. The upper flammable limit is the percentage of vapor to air beyond which ignition is no longer possible.